Hello, welcome to another bulk product edit tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about filter-based product map field editing. You can find this on our homepage or on the sidebar. Let's get started. Before we can edit our meta fields, we will need to create a meta field to edit first. You can do this under settings, meta fields, go to products, add a definition. Before we create a meta field, it's important to note that BBE can edit both defined and undefined meta fields. A defined meta field has its type fixed and is listed under the product admin page. When a defined meta field is created, it is created for all your product. An undefined meta field can be created as needed for individual products and its type can change freely. Here, we're creating a defined meta field. Let's give it a name. So for example, shipping time. And you can see we have a namespace and key. Here, the namespace is custom and the key is shipping underscore time. Let's select a contact type which will be single line text field. We'll keep it as one value and we'll hit save. Now that we've created a meta field, we can start to populate it. Here, we'll go to collection and we'll edit the clothing collection. Let's preview the products. And as you can see, we have three products here. Next, let's choose how to edit our products. We'll select add a meta field. Normally, this will add an undefined meta field to your products. However, if you put the matching namespace, key, and value type, it will edit a product instead if it exists. So if you remember, our namespace was custom and our key was shipping underscore time. The value type was a single line text field. It's important to match the value type because if the value type doesn't match, the meta field will not be edited even if the namespace and key match. For the value, let's put in this product will ship in three to five days. Start the bulk edit and we'll wait for the task to finish. Now that the task is finished, Let's check the details. As you can see, all three products have had the meta field edited to say this product will ship in three to five days. You can also check product meta field values in one of two ways. The first way would be in our app's product preview. So if we go back to the clothing collection, we type in the meta field we want to check, which is custom dot shipping underscore time, click preview. As you can see, we have this product will ship three to five days and the type is a single line text field. We can also edit or view all meta fields for a given product with our edit and view function, but that will be covered in a later video. The second way to check product meta field values would be in your product admin. So as you can see right now, we're in the clothing collection. Let's go to a random product such as hat and we scroll all the way down to the bottom. We can see the meta field section. This is where all the defined meta fields show up and we can also see shipping time. And the value this product will ship in three to five days. That's all for today, and I hope to see you at the next tutorial.